peeps, it's your girl Wifey here and today I'm back with an all new video. Today's video is actually a really nice favorites video. Sharing with you guys my current favorites at the moment. This video is a really nice, just light, airy, not too focused kind of video. Sharing with you guys some things that I've been obsessed with currently. Um, I wanted to make it fun and not really focus on any particular thing or review. If you guys do want an in-depth review on certain things, you can request it, no problem. Um... But I wanted this to be very fun and lighthearted. I haven't recorded in a little bit of a minute. I think it's been maybe a week and I feel kind of crazy. So I thought that this video would be a nice stepping stone into the new week. If you do like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's start our favorites video. I'm really excited. This first favorite that I would like to share with you guys is actually makeup related. And it's the foundation that I have on today. This is the Huda Beauty uh, Faux Filter uh, luminous matte foundation so this isn't a matte foundation it's not a radiant or dewy foundation it's a little bit of a mix of both and I can attest to the formula being very full coverage it's very lightweight it doesn't feel heavy on the skin what I do like about this is that a little bit goes a long way so you can mix this with a moisturizer and SPF to make it more of a tense of moisturizer or you can go full-on full coverage like I did today it's actually what I have on today um, I really do like it because it's not comogenic it doesn't have fragrance like the original one does and it it just feels a little bit less oily and greasy than the original one so I do highly recommend this I have been obsessed with it uh, I just recently got it a few days ago and ever since I've been wearing it and I love the finish of it if you guys are in the market for a new foundation you can purchase this from Sephora uh, this was $40 US and my shade is actually Macchiato 400G, which is a nice golden color. You guys know I'm super pale, but I like to make myself look really dark and bronze um, because it makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> And it also makes me look better on camera. Uh, if you go back to my Desi uh, review, I was wearing a foundation that was actually my exact skin tone and I felt casket ready. So this is the perfect golden shade for me and it's really nice. Again, this is a shade Macchiato um, in 400G, which is golden. And yeah, let's move on to the next product. Another product that I have been using and abusing is my Pat McGrath foundation and this is the Sublime foundation in the shade uh, Medium 17 and this is actually my second bottle. This is one of my favorites. I am just a diehard fan of Pat McGrath and this is something that doesn't break me out. It's oil free. It's very lightweight. It gives you a very nice flawless finish and it looks like se second skin. It's not as full coverage as the Huda Beauty foundation but you have two different foundations for two different moods. If you want this for more like uh, natural, everyday, very lightweight coverage, this is your go-to. It's oil-free, like I said, lightweight, no fragrance at all, not comogenic, and uh, it's a really, really nice foundation. The formula is really nice. It makes your skin look super smooth. This does have silicone in it, I believe, so a lot of people were iffy about it when it first came out, but this foundation doesn't break me out, and it's one of the few that doesn't break me out. Okay, so for the lips, I actually am currently obsessed with my own lip products um, from my brand at Grand Luxury Cosmetics. So this one in particular is called Wifey and this is our new and improved packaging in our essentials collection that we'll be releasing Valentine's Day weekend. So these are my favorites because they're super hydrating. They have nice essential oils that keep your lips plump and rejuvenated and feeling nice and luscious. They're not sticky, but they give you the ultimate complete shine that you're looking for. And if you love nudes, my lips are the ones for you for all skin tones and all uh, different undertones. So if you guys are in the market for a new lip gloss that is very hydrating, not sticky, I highly recommend my glosses from Grand Luxury Cosmetics. Uh, let's move on to the next product. Okay guys, so the next products that I would like to mention in this famous video are actually some fragrances that I've been Oh my goodness, I've been purchasing fragrance like crazy and I don't know why I feel like I'm going through a crisis. I don't know what's going on with me, but I feel like I always need a new fragrance and this here is my favorite. Oh my gosh. So when I tell you guys, I feel like I found a Tom Ford Lost Cherry dupe. I kid you not. This fragrance smells so good. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I feel like it smells even better and lasts longer than uh, Lost Cherry. So this is called Scarlet Poppy and it's a cologne that's intense by Jo Malone. Now, if you know, Jo Malone makes their uh, colognes, but the cologne intense uh, colognes are actually more expensive than the originals. 
I have not heard a lot of YouTubers talk about this, but let me be the one to tell you that you guys need this in your collection. If you like Tom Ford Lost Cherry, you feel like it doesn't last, feel like it's just not sweet enough and not feminine enough and just not powerful enough to make a statement and stand alone in your collection then you need this this it makes a statement you know what you're smelling when you smell it it's just oh my goodness it, it smells so good it smells so divine i have nothing in my collection like it and honestly i don't have a lot of time for fragrances because i just feel like they don't last they're not uh i don't know they're just not my cup of tea most of them like I'm sorry, but I'm not going to pay a bunch of money for fragrances that do not last. And you guys know I love fragrance, but if it doesn't last, there's no point in getting it. Like, come on. If I can't smell it, what the hell is the point of getting it? So, I love this fragrance because it stands alone. It makes a statement and it's feminine. It's bold. It's sweet. This 1.7 fluid ounce retails for $135. Yes, $135 for this 1.7 fluid ounce. And what I like is that it has three main notes. So it has the amberette, it has the scarlet poppy, and it has the tonka bean. So it's not very complex, but when you smell it, it's not something that smells like most average scents that I have that are very floral, powdery, fruity, whatever. This is more of like a gourmand scent and it smells delightful. You guys need it in your collection. Listen, this is something that a gentleman would definitely love to smell. Like this is definitely a fragrance that your man is going to love. Let me tell you, you guys need to go and get this. They have this at Sephora. It's sold out currently, but you can also get it from Macy's. You can get it from Nordstrom. Get your hands on it while you can. It smells so good and lasts on the skin all day. You guys need this. Go get it. I'm obsessed with it right now. The more things that I've also been loving as far as fragrance goes has to be... Uh, guys, I feel so crazy sharing with this with you. This is Chanel Chance Eau Vive. And... Um, it's something that I used to spray all the time when I used to work back at Blue Mercury. And we had the Chanel counter and the Tom Ford counter at the store in Tribeca. And honestly, I used to spray this all the time. It's a fruity, peachy burst of floral. And it just smells so good. Like, I highly recommend that you guys go purchase this. Uh, I've been hearing talks of this getting discontinued for a few years now. I don't know if they're actually going to do it, but Sephora does have a few left in this 3.4 fluid ounce size for a very reasonable price of, I believe, $130 uh, for the largest size, if I'm not mistaken. So if you can, get your hands on it. This is definitely a fresh, everyday scent, but don't expect this to have like an enormous, intense impact through the day uh, or have like a fierce projection. It smells good on the skin, but it's definitely a running the errands on the go type of scent where you want to smell good, you want to smell fresh, and you want to just smell juicy and fruity. This is that scent for you. So if that's your fragrance category that you feel more comfortable with, I highly recommend Chance Eau Vive. Um, it's something that is kind of hard to get in the store. It's not like a Mademoiselle where it's pretty generic. Like It's kind of hard to get. Because <laughs> there's a few chances, but Eau Vive is my favorite in the family. And I highly recommend that you guys go get it. It smells so feminine and juicy and fruity. It's just, ugh, it's so, it's so tasty. It's an amazing scent. So I highly recommend you guys go out and get this toilette. And I don't have many toilettes in my collection, but this stands out the most for me. Another favorite of mine that I've been loving and I've been obsessed with is this fragrance by Valentino and it's called uh Volce Viva oh Lady Gaga is the face of the perfume it just smells so good so this fragrance here for this size in the 3.4 fluid ounce retails for $130 and the notes are pretty much uh orange blossoms you get some crisp bergamot and um I believe some other floral notes in there this is a nice fragrance that is very gentle but projects really well through the day it's not as strong as um donna born in roma uh but it does smell very feminine and seductive and ladylike it's just uh it smells so good it's very inviting but it definitely is a boss scent i instantly feel confident when i put this perfume on and that's not something that i can say a lot of uh, perfumes out there that uh you know i usually don't gravitate towards which is one of those things that i look forward to i look forward to a fragrance that makes me feel confident makes me feel like i'm gonna get my life together when i put it on when i go to work i need something that 
lasts all day and this is something that is definitely office friendly and with a little bit goes a long way and you won't scare people off with such a harsh or intense projection this is definitely one of those fragrances that stand out in my collection because i have nothing that smells like it um but it is very nostalgic to me and i see why lady gaga is the face of bolje viva because it is definitely one of those fragrances that is more groundbreaking and gives you confidence and makes you feel bold and makes you stand out in a room full of people um so i highly recommend it i've been loving it lately and i've been using it so it's one of my favorites this next fragrance that i purchased is actually a purchase from rebel sense now this fragrance is parfums de marley delina it's a niche brand uh this fragrance has been making its way in headlines for a few years because a lot of influencers have been wearing it it's one of my favorite fragrances that just smells very ladylike you don't smell anything like it this does have iris rhubarb and rose notes and it just smells really really good there's nothing like it on the market it is very much a standout fragrance but it isn't too complex the exclusive version of this is a little bit more complex and sour and uh intense but if you want something soft feminine great for every day uh inviting something that you can layer this is the one for you if you do have a sensitivity to fragrance this is a great one to start out with because it's soft and you can build it up i definitely love delina and if you shop with rebel central save a nice coin apart from the marley delina is 320 dollars for this size uh, i don't believe it's a full 3.4 ounce i believe it's like a 2.7 or a 3 ounce um but the bottle is really nice and it stands out. Uh, but what I do love about this fragrance is that you can't really get it from everywhere. You can get it from uh, Saks. You can get it from Nordstrom. You can get it from Rebel Sense when they have it in stock um, and save a nice pretty penny. So this usually retails for $320. Um, Rebel Sense had it for $255 and I believe I had a 15% off coupon. So I used that with it. And honestly, this is my favorite. I'm kind of ashamed that this is my favorite because I wear this so often you would think that I was rich. Like, why am I spraying this every single day to go to work? Like, who do I think I am? Like, <laughs> But it smells really, really, really good. And I highly recommend it. And I've been obsessed with it. <laughs> Okay, so you guys know that this would not be a favorites video if I did not mention my favorites. Sunglasses, you guys know Cozy Wifey, she needs her sunglasses. Um, when I go out and I'm not like doing anything business related, I need my sunglasses on. I don't need you to see what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, nothing. Even with my mask on, like it's a lot, it's overwhelming, but I need my sunglasses. And so lately I've been loving my Desi's. I didn't show you guys these because I purchased them after my review, but these are my favorite sunglasses right now. Um, they're so pretty and they just, oh, they're so beautiful. So this style is called Backtrack. So these are the Backtrack desi sunglasses you see the detail they're giving very much tom ford vibes and desi makes sure to put the name inside so that you know what glasses you purchase if you forget often like i do this is what the desi backtrack sunglasses look like on my face they're so beautiful they're so cute they're so chic like you look like a boss babe with these on and I highly recommend that you guys go get them. They give me very much luxury vibes and they're very sturdy. They look great on the face and they're very much high quality. These, you can definitely see that they put their time and effort into them. They feel weighty. They feel heavy. Like they feel really durable and nice and you get the quality that you would get with the Gucci even better than Gucci. You guys know I used to work at sunglasses. That's all I'll tell you. Sometimes Gucci sunglasses be feeling cheap. Tom Ford sunglasses feel a little bit heavier and more expensive, but they feel heavy on the face. These, though, these feel perfect. These, for only $100, baby, you need all the colors. I'm waiting for her to restock these in clay, but up until then, I'm happy with these, and these are one of my favorite sunglasses right now. I cannot rave enough about them. Okay, guys, so another pair of sunglasses that I wanted to share with you guys is actually from one of my friend's brands uh, called Shady Lens, and so they are a small business. This is what the cloth looks like. So it comes in a bag and also comes with a cloth, and this is what it comes with. It also comes with a cleaning cloth inside that says Shady Lens as well. You know, you got to keep your glasses nice, sanitized, and uh, unscratched so you can actually see through them. 
and so I'm gonna actually clean mine but these are called Milan and these are one of my favorites I'll insert a picture of me wearing them in the uh, uh, frame here but I really do love them they're giving Celine-esque vibes they're really nice this is the two-tone tortoise and black style I love these so much. They're so lightweight and they're just so chic. I would definitely wear these when I'm out and about, handling my business, um, getting things done. You guys know I love sunglasses, but I like a little mix and variety in my collection. And I like that this frame is that tortoise and black and you get a nice kind of like brown lens. It really complements the face and it doesn't look too dark or harsh. So you can definitely dress this up and dress these down. They are a nice staple in your collection and you can definitely wear these every day um and these retail for around 30 bucks so they're very affordable they won't hurt the pockets and you can get a few different styles they have nude olive um even clear black and transparent so you guys need to go check these out again these are my shady lens and these are my favorites right now i'm obsessed <laughs> Still hair products that I've been loving that I find are really great for the winter months when I have dry uh, eczema scalp is this 10 in 1 hair growth oil that you can purchase from the site that I will list down below. It's a direct site where you can purchase this. This helps your hair grow. It has 10 different uh, healing, growing, and restoring oils in this oil and it's very potent it feels good on the scalp it feels like a nice treatment a little bit goes a long way it retails for ten dollars but this will have your hair growing down your back and it has definitely made a great change in my hair routine and helped my hair get healthy and grow a lot um and i really just enjoy it so i definitely recommend this and it's been something that i've been loving and obsessed with during these months and I highly recommend that you guys go out and try it. It's only $10. Like, why not? Another oil that I've been loving for all over my hair is this ORS oil that is supposed to be the Vital Oils co Coconut and Bulba. Um just like hair repair oil and it's for dry damaged hair and scalp and i like to use this all over my hair just to protect it against breakage damage and things like that when i do different styles to my hair or just on the daily when i feel like my ends and my the actual feel of my hair now more so my scalp is dry it smells amazing but more so than that i definitely see the change in my hair the way it feels throughout the day in the colder and drier months like right now um and i definitely do like this oil this is like my second bottle and it's a little bit does go a long way and it's only ten dollars so i highly recommend this this is something that they had out before but they've reformulated it or rechanged the packaging something but i highly recommend it another product that i would like to recommend is this dry shampoo from living proof it's something that a little bit goes a long way but it really helps with oily scalp if you're trying to style your hair and you feel like your hair is just a little bit overly greasy just because it's a few days old from styling and you want to give it a pick me up and you want to give it a little bit more volume and more texture i highly recommend this it smells good i would recommend spraying it from a distance and not directly on your hair to avoid having that white residue that most dry shampoos give but it's very nice it dissolves nicely and it doesn't give too much product build up on the scalp i would highly recommend using a uh, charcoal mask on your scalp or some kind of scalp exfoliant to get the builds up off if you do use this more frequently but this is a dry shampoo that i highly recommend that i've been loving for when my hair feels super oily and greasy and i just want to give it a little pick me up so it's not so limp this dry shampoo retails for about $30 to $36 and you can pick it up at Sephora or a Blue Mercury near you. It's very easy to pick up at those stores as far as like being in stock. Um, but the other products that I did uh, name before, I will put the direct link down below because they're kind of hard to find. Next item I've been loving is this Honey Pot Feminine Wash. So this is actually a black owned brand that you can find at Target. I like this feminine wash because it's really nice and gentle. So this is the normal, this isn't the sensitive. Um, and I like this one because it just makes me feel a little bit more fresher during those uh, times of the month where um, it's my menstrual cycle and I just need an extra pick me up. It helps with keeping your pH balance pretty steady and you just want to regulate your menstrual or your pH this is really nice to use from time to time I don't use it all the time but when I do use it it makes me feel a little bit fresher it doesn't have a scent it's really nice if you are sensitive down there uh, and it just keeps you extra fresh so I definitely would recommend it it's 
about ten dollars and you can pick it up at target or and i did want to share with you two items that i've been obsessed with so one is the panoxyl uh spot treatments it basically shows you on the back how you can use them but i love these spot treatments because it comes with a few of them inside and basically you put the little strips it comes with 40 clear uh patches so you can put the patches on top of active acne or just acne that you feel like just needs to come out and you don't want to pop in you don't want to scar yourself but you want that uh bacteria out of the skin these are nice you can sleep with them on they stay on and have a nice grip they don't just like fall off uh and they don't hurt you know pain free just gets rid of that acne overnight and then you're good to go in the morning you can even wear it underneath your mask if you have some uh congestion within the mask mouth area you know that mask need that is hard to get rid of this helps with it too um and i highly recommend them the next item i wanted to recommend is this item right here so this is by garnier and this is their serum uh concentrated moisturizer that has spf and this has spf um I thought I had this. Oh yeah, SPF 30. And it has hyaluronic and like some melon extract in there. I like this because it keeps my face hydrated and it's a nice SPF moisturizer to put on top of your other moisturizers. I have eczema on my skin. So on the daily when I am working um, on the front line pretty much, I like to gear up on my moisturizers because my face gets really dry under that mask. That N95 is no joke. So I do like to layer up and I like to use this on top of everything and it's really nice. A little bit goes a long way and it's really thick and heavy but it gets the job done and it doesn't feel oily or greasy. I highly recommend it. It's very affordable. It's about 17 bucks. Last but not least, I wanted to share with you guys some supplements I've been loving. Health and wellness is super important, especially right now during COVID. Um, it's more important than ever to take care of your body from within, from the start to the finish. And so supplements are my go-to. Through this whole COVID-19 pandemic, I've been taking supplements with elderberry, whether it's uh, elderberry extract, uh, straight from the elderberry or elderberry plant or I take these supplements. So I've been taking the Zarbi's, uh Naturals. This is like my fourth bottle um, because these I like more than anything else because they're actually all natural elderberry with no additives. Um, it has vitamin C, zinc, and real elderberry. So it also doesn't have um, any dairy properties like milk, fish, peanut, or soy if you have allergies to those things like I do. Uh, this is really great, but it is pricey. It's about $21. You can get it from Target. I also found these at a Rite Aid. These are immunity... Uh, um, they're just easier to take for me so these ones you can get at Rite Aid I picked them up from there and they're it's called the security blanket dietary supplement they have vitamin c zinc and black elderberry uh and this is non-gmo no additives or anything like that I'm someone that because I work in the hospital I like to stock up on my uh different supplements and like to just keep them up and they uh usually are ones that are don't expire to like 2022 or 2023 just so I can have enough and so I never run out just in case you know you never know you can't find them because sometimes these are hard to find honestly I guess they're a lot of people's favorites or maybe they don't put out a lot at one time because they are actual elderberry um I don't know but sometimes they're hard to find and I need my supplements every single day I cannot go a day without taking them I feel the difference thank you guys so much for watching cozy wifey tv I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe if you did I hope you found some things that you would like to add to your favorites list very soon or maybe some things that we have in common that are both our favorites I don't know let me know down below what you think of this video or what you would like to see in the near future I definitely appreciate you guys again so please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time take care